Yo, so, welcome to season, whatever this is, I think 10, or 11, on the vlogs. I'm about to be flying for the first time in my life, and I'm kind of nervous, because I don't know what to expect going through TSA, I don't know what to expect going through all that, but I've got my stuff packed, uh, I'm going to be gone for a week. For the first time in my life as well. But I've got luggage, full backpack, and a buddy taking me to uh, the airport. So, yeah, super freaking nervous. I'll be helping Patrick drive cross country in a giant U Haul, plus his car being towed behind. So, that's gonna be fun. But, uh, yeah. Not sure what else there is really filmed, so I'll just catch y'all up after we get there. Get some footage on the plane, hopefully. Thank you. 
I found his car eventually. And got my baggage. I had and to call I, and ask about because like, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, well, I called you first instead of walking around blindly. And then I was like, wait, never mind. There's a sign. Bro, like, bro, you walk out of there, you just see it. Just well, no, I, I, I walk out and then, you know, see a sign that I go downstairs again. But that's still, yeah, it's really easy. Yeah, we're, uh, gonna do some shit. So. Wee hee! This is our sign. We are the winners. That's from Minneapolis, though. Wait, what? There's Minneapolis on it. Why does it say Minneapolis? We're not in Minnesota, eh? Close We're enough. close to Minnesota, but not no. quite. Now, this is not a Minnesota. On the flight. On the flight, when I arrived, I was talking to the... Because I'm, like, right up front. I was talking to the uh, flight attendants. And... I'm telling him, you know, why I'm here and all that, because it just came up. And they're like, yeah, the only thing is this flight isn't, it's, it's abnormal to have this few people. We had under 100 people on the plane. I'm like, I mean, I kind of figured that. I'm going to Bismarck, North Dakota. And then everybody, like, they both stared at me. And everybody behind me, just, everyone just stops and goes, like, what you, what you mean by that, pal? It's like, like it's not a very populated area, no. I, all I said was, Look, all I'm saying is my buddy makes it sound like there's no one here, so that's all I'm going by. Yeah. This place looks really good. So, originally, it's, it's, it's Famous Dave, so I don't know if I said that yet, it's Famous Dave. So, originally, I was going to get the Texas beef brisket sandwich here, but they're out of brisket. Fortunately. And they're out of pulled chicken. So, I was able to get chopped pork, and that, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, brisket. And he got, what was it? He got the two, two, meat, two, com combo. two meat combo. I think he chose the, if I can see him. Got your roasted chicken. I was going to get the brisket. But I had to get chicken strips instead then. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know why they're out of brisket. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. It's really good here. Yeah. But. Oh, well. At least it'll be barbecue. That smells good. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. It wasn't expensive as I thought either. Not really. Not for two people. I mean, that's very reasonable. Like, there's a barbecue place we found out about by my house called Rudy's. And they're hoping they're better than this. We'll see. But their prices are about the same as here, really. Maybe a little bit more. But they're pretty good. Yeah. They're, they, they have a choice between more regular brisket and moist brisket and the moist brisket is like oh my god it's so good the only thing is their barbecue sauce fucking sucks their barbecue sauce blows it's in little packets and it spells sauce like you know how you say yeah just like that sauce so you get sauce and you get sissy sauce and it's like but otherwise their stuff's really good i got a brisket sandwich last time over there Get Bud Light in the head. Bud Light in the head. I'm gonna get a drink, but I'm yeah, gonna be driving a 26 driving. foot truck. That's why I'm not car drinking. I have to drive. Yeah, but that's okay. We'll see you on whatever we do the next thing. I guess we're gonna cook it too. Ground Pound, sponsored by Mario Bros. It's ground oh, Ground Round? I thought it said Ground Pound. No. I guess it is an R. Yeah, that's the ugliest R. And there's where my conscious usually happen over there. That'd be it. Not this one. That's a Goodwill. That's not. Yeah, it's a Goodwill. Then they had Goodwill. Taco John's. Right there. That BS building right over there under your... Where is that at? That BS building right there. Yeah. The really tall one. That's where we just need a few shows at. Oh, nice. This used to be called the Civic Center, but now it's called the Events Center. That's what I like to call the Civic instead. I mean, to be fair, people don't like to change those names a whole lot, so I don't blame you. This feels like a very old town. Lots of old cars, old buildings. 
definitely not a big city. <laughs> it has a lot of population, but it's not like too hard or takes long to get from one side to the other. Yeah. Whoa. You good? <clears throat> My camera's been having a hard time focusing today, and I think the fucking plane windows being dirty, trying to focus through was hard as hell. Or oh, I absolutely was. I got to focus most of the time now. Oh, I'm nice that building over there. That great brown one. It used to be a Blockbuster and a Papa Murphy's. Oh, wow. Of course I did. Yeah. That's where I used to, you know, get some games a weekend. Like, they usually be good for seven days. So I can usually run a game for a week. Yeah. And sometimes want to get like take and bake pizzas for like a Friday night, and uh, yeah. I think that's the ultimate '90s and early 2000s experience. Probably. Because I remember I used to rent, where my mom used to rent a Blockbuster sometimes too, and yeah, it was. Oh, was a good time. I almost experienced Metroid Prime at a really young age, but the disc was screwed up, so I couldn't get past the first small area, like the tutorial. Rough. <coughs> the walk-up only Dairy Queen. Yeah, we have two other ones, which are rare. You can at least have a drive-through. Oh, Custer like, Park. Almost closer to the airport. The other one's up north, and we have another one, Mandan, which is the only grill one here in this area. Oh yeah, good thing it's not. It's a big moment. Yes, it is. These are old ass buildings, little houses. Yeah, they are. Quaint, very quaint. I love the way these look, though. These are cozy. Is a grandma live in one of these types of houses? Yeah, you'll see. I just have to stop, see if he has anything for me. I'm not sure I brought some stuff out, but... Yeah. Uh, depends if she's home or not. Which well, we'll may see. Not be. Which she is. She so, is? Yeah, the big ass blue vehicle there. Oh, that's right. Alright. Yes. You just party. Well, we just met, or I just met his grandma. Uh, we stopped by. And she gave him some stuff and said her goodbyes. Excessive stuff again. As usual, that's what good grandmas do. I like her a lot. She's a fucking awesome lady. I like her a lot. So, very glad I got to meet her. Got him some stuff. She just kept like, here, take this, here, take this, here, take this, here, take this. Here's a bag. You know what? I gave you some chips, but do you want some more? Go, you know, go, go downstairs and grab some more chips. There's plenty down there. Hey, there's always more. to work there. Papa John's? That's the location, huh? Yeah. Well, they got new fucking things up there. Mmm. Mm. Probably help one. Where's the help one inside? Where's the help one inside? Where's the help one inside? They're probably desperate. They fired like anybody that walks in and fills out an application just right there on the spot. Fuck y'all! Eat shit! <laughs> Fuck Papa John's. Right, Patrick? I like food's good. I just don't like the, the owners of this area here. Yeah, that location's awful. Fuck Papa John's, at least that location. Hey, yard sale. Need more stuff. Now we are heading what to to get the truck? Yeah. Yeah, we're heading to get the truck. I I hope we don't get the 26 foot. I oh. think we're screwed, but if we get it, we get it. Very much so. Yeah, but we'll see when we get there. Maybe someone will have a 10 foot or something, or they just dropped off and like, hey, we can fix that for you. Nice. That would be absolutely amazing because, yeah. But we'll see. We'll find out when we get there. More than likely, we're stuck with a 26 foot truck and a trailer to tow his car. Yep. Yeah, big old poopy pants. You got your oil change, you said? Yeah. Last week or whatever? It's at 97%. Nice. Cool. How many miles do you have on this already? Uh, 33,466. Okay, it had like dirty when you got it, I think. Around there, like a little under 30. Yeah, so not bad. I've done this thing for almost 4,400 miles since I, that's my trip driving to Utah or back from Utah, I think. I'm pretty sure it's two. One of the two. Make it, right, two would probably make more sense, because. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, that logo for gas. That's Kroger gas. It's not. It's, it's the logo that Kroger uses for gas sometimes. Like, I've seen that for Kroger gas stations sometimes. Ben can attest. Interesting. Does it drive though? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I farted in this car. He has a very clean, well, not dirty, but not clean. But it's good smelling car, and I just been a smoke shit. Hey, there's your bank. Yeah, it's one of the locations. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking more old construction. Cool. What the fuck are they constructing in there? Everything. And we'll say, I, I think I said it earlier, but I like the uh, small town feel that this place has. It's a small town, old. Not like me. Anyways, we'll see y'all when we get the truck. Yo, Patrick has fucking Kmart. Has a fucking Kmart. Kind of a dead one, but yeah. It's a this is fucking Kmart. That's a relic of the past. What the fuck? I was not expecting to see Kmart today. Holy shit, this town's old as fuck. This is what I have to fucking drive. Oh, but we don't have any. Even though there's a 10 foot right here and a smaller right there. And there's one on the other side over there. This is one like they won't we fucking try. They won't give us anything else. Like, this is so fucking big. Ciao. And towing car. Fuck. So, tires, that tire is okay. Getting video of all this so I can show that it's in, it's in damage. That tire's okay, I guess. I guess the inside one should be okay. Let's have a look. Here. Yep, that's a giant U-Haul that we don't need. And they don't have dollies either. Yeah, oh yeah, they didn't have fucking dollies. We gotta like, manually buy one. They're not expensive, but fuck. Drive this, but I guess figure it out. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, please be with me. So, what do we want to, what do, we want to do first? Uh, go to Walmart? Walmart? Or go to your house first? Oh, well, Walmart first, but we need the dolly. Do you want to drive this? We can. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave your car there for now and just go to your Walmart and inside doing see what it looks like. I got a place that's somewhat modern. At least has USBs. That's good. That's good. Audio hot ski plates. Good. Gasoline. gonna yell at me for doing it. Is there no hood release? They... Where's the hood release? Oh, hell, I know. Go for clearing. This an e brake? Yeah. yeah. There should be. Hood release right here. 
It's like they got rid of it. Probably, so that way you can't look at who can screw that. Alright, well, you know what? It better fucking work. Alright, let's see. Half tank gas. 40 seconds. Do we gotta drop it off with how much gas it said? Half a tank. Okay, half a tank, I'll do that. Yeah. So when we get to Florida, it needs to have a half tank when we drop it off. Like a USB for my thing to see it. Yeah, you can do your thing. Take it. Can I adjust these mirrors? That one's good. That one. I'm gonna guess that one's fine too. I got double mirrors. Oh my gosh, I am so scared. Turn tow hall off. Turn it off for now. Park brake, cargo light bay. Yep. Oh, so this one doesn't have cruise control? Cruise control. Uh, I hope that's, it that has to be cruise control. Look at this. All right, let's go. All right, so he's currently paying for the gas. We just filled up. It had a half a tank, but we got it. Still a half a tank. We just topped it off to a full, and that was over $80. Uh, so there's that. Looks like he got the aux cable, so that's good. Um, yeah, this thing's huge, but it's drivable. Hey, they got one? Yeah, let's go. All right, cool, we got an ox cable, we're good. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to his house and start loading up. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. Didn't need a fucking 26 foot U-Haul, he is. This is all his shit though. 70, 60% of it is video games. 60% uh, of video games, the rest. Uh, let's say 60% video games. 30% collectibles, memorabilia, and 10% actual belongings that matter. <laughs> and by that I mean bed, TV, dresser. It has a nice CRT in there though. But uh, yeah, I packed as best I can, but he didn't pack it high. There's no fucking point. That shit is so fucking heavy. I made one layer with the right uh, ratchet strap, and then one layer here just to hold shit in. Have these tubs here bungee tied to the ratchet strap so they won't slide out that won't slide out nothing's gonna move it's all anchored pretty well it may not look like it but i promise me it is plus this thing is gonna haul ass it's big now to run a fucking u-haul and get the trailer for his car and load it up <sighs> fucking hard he has too much shit says speed limit 55 so they can't go more than 55 on the freeways yay well we've got the truck we've got it loaded up we've got his car in tow and fuck dude this is a big ass thing so we you can probably see it back there if i turn a little bit before you see it back. Eh, not really. No, okay. Well, you can see it on my side soon, but the, the car is back there. Um, yeah, just... That was a fucking... Time and a half. But, we're not behind schedule, really. Because, I honestly, honest to God, 
I was anticipating we would be leaving here by 6. We'd be leaving Bismarck by 6 the whole time, like, since we planned going to Fargo. Somehow that's worked out exactly that way, to where we've... It's 6. It's not. Or, wait, is that? It's 6. That's an hour behind, bro. Oh. Okay, well, we're an hour later than I thought. Fuck. Well, it's still, that's not bad. I'm still very, very happy with that. It didn't take as long to pack and move as we... Or it takes as long to move as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. We, we we got all of his fucking shit in there. It's packed in good. I showed y'all a little clip of that. And everything's in there. Um, his car is hooked up and good. At some point, I'm going to stop and check it just to make sure. Yeah, we'll change that in a little bit. Um, actually, if you hold that, probably. Or, you know, uh, hold... Oh, there you go. Six. Yeah, let's do a Actually, let me... What is it? 655? That's right. I don't know. Let's just jump turn me to six. So. Oh, there you go. Cool. Is it good? Let's see. Go like that. Alright, so that actually be fixed now. So that's the correct time on there now. It's 6.56. Okay, cool. Where we're going to change you an hour ahead when we get later on. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, well still, that's uh, not too bad at all. We'll be at the hotel around 9. It's fine. I don't know. Right. I called the hotel and they're like, oh, we're fine. You can just check in and gave us a free upgrade. I'm like, okay. Yeah, free upgrade. So hopefully it's not a king suite, but if it is, whatever. I'd rather have the upgrade and share a giant bed than have a shittier one and have two beds. I'd rather have two beds. But. All right, we'll just see how it goes then. Yeah. yeah we got some we snacks. We both fucking showers after that shit. Yeah, got yeah. some snacks. Yeah, okay. So Patrick's, between Patrick's mom and his grandma, we have way too many fucking snacks because his grandma. That's all my for grandma. Yeah, she. It, his She's the one that brought it out earlier. Mom just packed it up for me. Yeah, well that's that's fucking yeah. awesome. Your grandma's awesome because yeah, you got way too much shit. I mean, a good thing you got shit. Yeah, we can just time. snack on the way here and not eat as much. Hopefully. So yeah, we'll just be doing that. We'll probably give you an update when we get to the hotel and whatnot. Yeah, go in more depth about everything because. Fuck you, Hall. That place was shitty. There's a lot of shit to complain about, but we'll do it later. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell you about the guy who had the cops called because someone ran into him there, so it'll be later. Yeah. Uh, fucking fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, we will update you in a bit, and we will uh, be at our wonderful hotel. So that's going to be fucking great, everybody. Uh, Google 5. Uh -huh. Google 5. Stop it! You'll know when I'll stop it. This is for Jordan. This is song Jordan. We didn't film any of it because we already have enough to do. Um, 11 a.m. What? Fuck, I said, I said, oh, okay. it. So fucking, we're tired and we had no foam out, no camera mount for anything. So when it was dark outside, so we're like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. To try with, with it. And for all, it was Monday. Or yeah. Two. Today was Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Well, it's still technically Tuesday by five more minutes or whatever. 
But yeah, we, we, we drove three hours over here to Fargo, and the real trip starts tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk more about it in the car, truck, hopefully, we'll see, but... <clears throat> We're tired and we should sleep soon, probably like after this. Yep, I'm gonna go sleep here in a minute, uh, just didn't want to leave the vlogs high and dry. But we made it here, and now it's time to go to sleep, wake up, figure out the next day. So, we will see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Yeah, boy.